you really clicked on this video thinking I'm gonna give you some sort of secret that's gonna change your entire life, didn't you? You thought that I'm gonna give you that ultimate secret that's gonna change your entire trajectory. It's gonna make you go from knowing nothing to pay developer in like three months quickly without work, without any, any accountability from your part. That's what you thought. Well, if you did, you are wrong. One of the things that I have noticed with people that is that they are always looking for like shortcuts, quick things, quick, 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 but they are never open to do the work. And I have noticed that in my program teaching people and I have noticed that on YouTube and I've, thought, I've noticed that by me observing myself, like looking for things, you know, how to get this thing quick, how to do this thing quick. But in reality, like anything good in life is gonna take a shit ton of time and effort and persistence and rejections and failure and f ups and most people quit, most people fail. Most people are doomed to failure and that's okay. 99% of people are a bunch of losers, okay? And yes, I can teach you programming and I can give you tips on learning programming, but it ultimately boils down to have you went the extra mile. I was watching this guy today on YouTube, which is like in a totally different niche than programming. He's actually into like improving yourself, in improving your looks and whatnot, which is something that I'm actively interested in because I want to get better than the average person. I want to be, I don't want to be an average person, okay? And this guy is like talking about himself, like he's a, actually a student right now, a university student, and he's been working on his projects, personal projects for 60 hours in order to land a job at Bosch, I think. It's, Bosch is like a German company. They are doing different kind of tools that allow you to build stuff and stuff like that. I don't know if you have it in the US, but in Europe it's quite popular. This guy puts 60 hours a week and now you might be thinking, oh, but I cannot put 60 hours a week and that's fine. But that's why you'll never reach that guy's level. Nobody cares that you don't have the 60 hours a week. Like people are waiting for you at the finish line. They don't care about how much you're struggling in your journey. People don't care about that. They care about you being at the end of the journey. That's why people don't hire juniors because nobody wants to see you struggle for a year or two. Nobody wants to take the gamble on you. And people want senior developers like right now. They only look for senior developers. They are, many people are not even looking for mid-level developers. People are looking for senior level developers. They want you at the end. They don't care about you, that you are curious, that you're excited, that you are, you know, passionate about programming. Nobody cares. Do you think Jeff Bezos cares about his software engineers to be passionate about programming? No. Jeff Bezos cares about hiring a bunch of people that are extremely capable and that can deliver the work on, on a specific budget and those people will make more money for him than he's actually paying them. So when he, Jeff Bezos is paying someone 400 bucks, 400,000 bucks a year, he's actually making two, three, four, five million off of that person's work. That's how things work. And now you, especially in this up economy, you need to learn how to go the extra mile. The secret is putting in more time and more work, start comparing yourself with others massively because the employers or like people that are going to hire you as a freelancer, they are comparing you with the other people every day. You are comparing myself with other people, other YouTubers. You have your feed with YouTubers that are talking about coding, how to get a job and you decided to click on me, right? You compared me, my thumbnail and my title with the other 50 freaking titles and you clicked on me, right? And the same with you. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm not trying to make you, you know, disappointed, but I'm just bringing into reality how difficult things actually are. Things are actually simple. Like you do this, you build projects, you start applying, blah, blah, blah. You get interviews, you pass interviews, you start making money. That's like, that's the entire problem or transformation simplified into like third, um, not, not third, into first principles. That's the problem. But the way you approach every single thing, it's massively important. So for example, if you are learning HTML and CSS right now, okay? Have you made sure that you can really build any layout you see? I'm not talking about the ones that are crazy with like freaking animations and whatnot. Or if you want, you should be able to do those as well. But the basic layouts, are you able to replicate the YouTube landing page? Are you able to replicate the Twitter landing page? Instagram, Facebook, whatever other website uh, are you using or web app that you're using, are you able to do that? If not, 
then you are not good enough. And instead of like progressing forwards, you should just stay there for a little while to make sure you actually understand everything. When you're learning JavaScript, are you actually familiar and knowledgeable with using all the array methods, all the objects, object methods, all the way that you can use objects and arrays, strings as well, loops. Are you really knowledgeable? Because there is another guy <laughs> that's working 60 hours per week while you are working just 10, which is a decent amount of time, but that guy that's working 60, 60 hours a week is gonna be way better than you. No matter how much you want it, that guy wants it more, six times more than you. And the thing is, if you put 10 hours uh, per week into your coding journey and the other guy is putting 60 hours, all his work and his time will start compounding. Obviously, if that guy that's putting 60 hours a week, maybe he's not putting in quality work. Maybe he, he does. Maybe he puts 60 hours a week and more quality time and he's smarter and he has a mentor and he has a roadmap. He's gonna be like way better than you, no matter how much you want it because that guy wants it more. And again, I'm not trying to shill you into buying my but I just, I'm just explaining to you that there are layers, you know, and no matter how much you try, if you do not try hard enough, you'll be absolutely left out. And again, it's not only about learning code, it's about going to the gym, taking care of your diet, it's things that I'm actually actively working on because I have messed up with this stuff for years and I don't want to get into my 30s looking like a bum, you know. I want to reach my top physique in my 30s, okay? I want to live my life properly when I'll be in my 30s. But these are the things, like when I go to the gym, do you think I'm comparing myself just with me yesterday? No, I'm looking at the other guys that are bigger than me, that are more defined and whatnot, that look stronger, that look leaner, that look more athletic. I'm comparing myself with them, why? Because other people are gonna compare myself with them. And you are always in this competition. No matter how much you are uh, trying to put it in your mind that you, are only you only need to improve yourself and you only need to get better than yourself yesterday, which is true to a certain extent. But if you just follow that advice, you'll be having a very hard time, okay? No matter what your favorite guru or influencer is telling you. This is something that you need to keep in mind. Uh, so yeah, that's the secret. Work hard, work smart, work a lot, put quality time in, focus, and you'll get what you want, no matter what you do. All right, see ya. Thank you.